Okay, we have a new project that just showed up on the workbench today. This is a mandolin. It's a uh, stradolin mandolin. It is an F hole. Very nice little thing, but it does have a serious problem. See, the neck has come unglued. This is not a difficult fix. We'll just go ahead and finish ungluing it and then re-glue that neck and we should be good to go. But I want to make a note here about this sort of thing. When this happens with your guitar or your mandolin or your ukulele or any your violin, viola, cello, as soon as you notice this thing coming unglued, immediately detension those strings. Take, take the tension off entirely so it doesn't do any more damage than it's already done. You can see <clears throat> that the neck is beginning to actually rest on the body, which it's not supposed to be doing. If it had gone much longer, this could have actually done some damage to the top, or it could be doing some damage on the back here. <clears throat> there is a, a ledge right here, a little button ledge, and it could easily have busted that. That would be a serious fix. So whenever that happens, take the tension off those strings right away as soon as you notice it. Now we'll just go ahead and start taking off the strings. <clears throat> the tuning pegs seem a little tight. Probably needs a little bit of lubrication on those. We'll take off the tailpiece cover here, which is where the strings attach. We want to see how those strings are attached so that we know exactly how. Okay, good. Some mandolins will have multiple hooks. The string attaches to these little hooks right here. Some mandolins actually have multiple hooks down here and up here, and the strings sometimes loop around those hooks. So whenever you take the strings off, you do want to make certain that if you have the multiple hook ty type of system, you know how those strings were put in the first place. And it's a good idea to just do a quick drawing to show w which hooks each string went around. In this case, this is a simple proposition. We'll just start unhooking these strings. They're all in order. There we go. The strings are off. The bridge is off. The bridge comes just sits on, on top, so that's not a, a thing. All we really need to do here is re-glue the neck to the body. <clears throat> and with the thing already open, we just want to slide this up. Just like this. It'll need a little bit of help. There we go. And off it comes. Having done that, we'll take an emery board and we'll just sand off some of the old glue. We don't want to remove too much material per se. We just want to get the old glue off so that we've got a good surface for the new glue. I want the sides and this side here. <clears throat> and we'll do the same thing inside here. Emery boards are great. You want to have several of them on hand. A package, package of them on hand for exactly this sort of thing. Now that we have prepared our surfaces, we just need to choose a glue two kinds of glue that we can use here. We have hide glue. This is type bond liquid hide glue. You can also do hide glue with a glue pot and uh, hide glue crystals. We have hide glue and we have wood glue, uh, type bond number three. The difference is how easily you can take it apart later. You usually want to use the hide glue on places where you need to be able to take it apart fairly easily. Um, a little heat <coughs> will help to soften the glue and you can take it off. That would be the top and the sides, the top and the back and the sides, particularly 
because on rare occasion, you do have to get inside to be able to do some repairs to that. On other parts, however, you want to use the stronger glue, which again, it will come off with hot water and with, actually what it will come off with is a little heat, applied heat and white vinegar, which will soak in a little bit better and help to um, you soften up the glue. But we don't really want this neck to come off very often. So we're going to use, use the tight bond here on this. Take out a, a flat toothpick here. And I'm going to put a little bit right here and here on both on the sides, the inside. And I particularly want to get the bottom. Grab my toothpick, <laughs> spread that around so that it covers the entire surface. Some people use brushes for this, but then you have to clean out the brush. Toothpick, you use it once, you toss it. Now it's just simply a matter of slip that in. Make sure it goes all the way down and seats properly. I want to make sure it's set in nice and tight and flat and straight here. You'll notice that there's and that is just where I want it. And the glue is already setting up. That's the nice thing about tight bond. Let's take off the edges. Wipe off the excess. There we go. And we'll put the clamp on it. And I want to clamp that right over the center so it goes straight down. It doesn't have to be super tight. It just has to be just tight enough. And we're done. I'll let that set up for the next 24 hours or so. And then I can take that clamp off and we'll be done. 